From, Season 3, Episode 2, titled, When We Go. We begin with a previously on segment, showing Tabitha discovering Victor's father and falling from the lighthouse, followed by a quick recap of the town's plans. We're reminded of the chaos from the previous night, where the monsters let all the town's animals out. Sarah returned to save Julia and Ethan. Boyd is seen pleading for Mrs. Chen's life in the last scenes of the recap. The episode opens with Jade and Victor sitting in the bar. It's the morning after the attack, and Jade wants to investigate the damage. Victor tries to talk him out of it. He seems very hesitant. Jade insists that someone will eventually have to investigate, and the two of them leave the store. Boyd remains handcuffed to the post in the barn. When Jade arrives, he's muttering in a foreign language. Meanwhile, we learn that Kenny's mom has been brutally murdered. It's extremely gruesome. When Jade finally releases Boyd, Boyd embraces Kenny's mother's body while weeping and apologizing. Kenny wakes up in a log cabin. Him and Jim stayed there the night before. He hears Jim calling in the distance, and when he goes to investigate, he finds Jim on the edge of the lake holding a bunch of fresh food. You can see there's tons of it growing around him, and Jim speculates that it might be enough to feed the town. Tabitha awakes on Victor's father's couch. He tells her that she passed out on his porch the night before. He has a gun, which scares Tabitha, and he insists that she stays seated. He demands to know the truth about the lunchbox, as well as her presence in town. Tabitha tells him everything, including the tree and how she's trapped in the town, which enrages him. He doesn't believe her and threatens to call the police. She pleads for him not to. He reveals he already called the police 20 minutes earlier. Desperate, Tabitha says she might have proof of her story. Back in town, Sarah attempts to enter the infirmary, but Christy confronts her. Sarah informs Christy of Tian Chen's death before leaving abruptly. Boyd and Jade take Chen's body to the church for burial as the town mourns. Jade questions Boyd about how he survived, and Boyd reveals the monsters made him watch as they tortured Mrs. Chen to death. Still covered in blood, Boyd stumbles into the street. Haunted by flashbacks of the gruesome events, Donna rushes to his side. The two of them retreat to the police station. They argue about whether or not Boyd should have let the animals die. Boyd explodes in frustration, and Donna concedes before storming off to salvage what's left of the animal's meat. Fatima continues to suffer with really bad morning sickness, coughing up blood and even eventually pulling a tooth from her mouth. Ellis takes her to the clinic, but Christy is absent. The other nurse assures Fatima that everything is fine with the baby, despite her severe malnourishment. Kenny and Jim return to town and learn from Boyd that Kenny's mother has been killed. Devastated, Kenny rushes off to search for her body, and he finds Christy at the diner. She tries to comfort him as he breaks down in tears, As they sit in silence, eventually the jukebox turns on by itself, causing Kenny to smash it in a fit of rage. Kenny continues to grapple with his mother's death, asking Christy to prepare her body for the funeral. He tells a story about his father's death and expresses concern that his mother was scared and alone. Boyd later shares Mrs. Chen's last words with Kenny, which translate to take care of him. He's alone now. This causes Kenny to break down even further as Boyd comforts him. Back in the real world, Tabitha is showing Victor's father news articles about people disappearing and they all relate to those living in the town. Though reluctant at first, he starts to believe her story, especially after she talks to him about the children she's seen. When the police arrive, Victor's father fabricates a story, sending them away. He finally puts the gun down and offers to make Tabitha something to eat. Mrs. Chen's funeral is held, with Ethan placing her blanket over her body. Ellis and Boyd talk outside the funeral, where Boyd admits he's not doing very well, and he tells Ellis they need more information about the monsters. He reveals a plan to capture one, and tells Ellis he'll need his help the following night. Victor's father takes Tabitha to the basement, showing her paintings his wife had made of all the different things she had seen. She's clearly suffering in the same way Tabitha is. Her paintings include tons of imagery, that viewers will recognize. We see the diner painted, we see some of the monsters, we see the symbol, and we see all the children that 
Both Tabitha and Victor's mother were hallucinating. The episode closes with Jim returning home after the funeral. He drinks a glass of water at the kitchen sink, and suddenly the phone rings. He answers, and we hear a small child's voice saying, Dad, it's Thomas, leaving us with a chilling cliffhanger. 